Hello, Dragon Flies. Today's story is called An Island Dream. It's written by Susan Connolly. I know some of you have been having underwater adventures over the last few weeks. Let's see what adventures these girls are having on the island. An emerald green island basking in the sun, a clear blue sky, and two girls out for fun. Two little girls, each holding an oar, row their dinghy towards the shore. The golden sun rises in the deep blue sky. Morning has begun on the islands nearby. Swish, swish, go the oars. In the calm blue sea, the two girls chatter as they row happily. Just as their boat reaches the sand, out jump the girls onto the land. Along the beach, the two girls walk hand in hand, their feet sinking in the soft warm sand. When they see the hermit crabs crawling on the rocks, the little girls sit in the sunshine to watch. The busy seaside creatures scurry to and fro, in and out the rock pools their tiny legs go, looking for scraps of food all around, searching, searching deep in the ground. Pretty coloured seashells twinkle in the sun. The little girls on the beach pick them up for fun. Breaking waves on the shore, day after day, the yacht sailing in the sea far across the bay. The two little girls run into the sea. They splish and they splash, laughing with glee. They watch the tiny fish swim to and fro and the seagulls in the sky swooping high and low. All is calm and quiet as night begins to fall. Shadows creep across the beach and the seagulls hush their call. Bright green seaweed floats on the tide the sun dips down below the dark clouds to hide. Then, out of the darkness, the bright moon appears. Up from the ocean depths, the two horses rear, smiling, dancing, shining in the light. A magical moment fills the night. Two little girls, lifted way up high, soar up into the moonlit sky, galloping excitedly through the starry night, the little girls full of joy, holding on tight. As the morning sunshine breaks across the bay, the little girls awaken to another day. No sign of any horses. Where have they been? sleeping in their bedroom. Was it all a dream? That's the end of the story. If you have any dreams, dragonflies, use your imagination. Your imagination can take you anywhere you'd like to go. That's the beauty of a story. Anything can happen. See you next time, dragonflies.